Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Matt Lesper here with 1836 Property Management in beautiful Austin, Texas. In this video, we're gonna go over some maintenance tips to prepare your property for rental code compliance. Number one, inspect the air conditioning and HVAC unit. Make sure that the filters are clean, the drain lines are clean, there's no unusual sounds coming out of the system. And if there's anything that's fluctuating, whether it's water levels or the drain line, make sure you report it, get an HVAC technician out there right away and have them service that system. Number two, inspect the roof. Take a look around, step back from the property, use binoculars if you've got them. Look for any missing shingles, signs of deterioration, wear. Look for problems with insulation. Uh, any potential ways that water can get inside that house, including walking the interior of the house and looking at the ceiling for any stains that may be coming from water intrusion. Clear away any debris or trees. Trees should never be touching the roof line. Look for signs of water on the ceiling inside, outside. Look for signs of water anywhere and keep in mind that water moves. So it may come into the ceiling in one place, trail down a joist or rafter, and then show up somewhere else. Inspect a water shutoff valve and check for leaks. Now, this is something that most homeowners hear the first time they move into a new home and then never see again because it gets covered. The water shutoff valve is close to the curb, typically between two homes in Austin, Texas, and it often gets filled in with dirt. That shutoff valve cuts the water pressure off to the entire home. So if something tragic happens inside that house, you're gonna want that accessible and fully functional. If it's buried, or you have to dig it out, it probably needs to be replaced. Water can damage your home faster than anything else and it doesn't take very much. So be sure you look under tubs, sinks, kitchen sink, bathroom sinks, anywhere that there's water for signs of leaks and make sure that those angle stops or shutoff valves work at every place that you have water distributed. Look for any signs of plumbing plop plumbing problems, easy for me to say. Look for rust underneath the garbage disposal. Anywhere you see trouble, report it and deal with it. It's only gonna get worse. Make sure that if you've got an irrigation system, that nothing is spraying on the sides of the house. That water that's spraying those flower beds and up on the bricks can find its way inside the home, cost you a lot of money. Take a moment and inspect the smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. Ensure that the, the batteries are functioning, they haven't been removed accidentally, that the uh, fire and carbon monoxide detectors are not expired. Believe it or not, those things do expire, I think every eight to 10 years. So you're gonna to wanna to take a peek, make sure they're fully functional. These are code compliance issues. Inspect windows and locks. Every window needs to open. Every lock needs to lock and of course unlock. So if you've got windows that are broken and you say, oh, tell the tenants not to touch that, it's not cutting it. We can't give people a property and say, don't open the windows, or by the way, this window doesn't lock. It's not safe, it's not secure, and we all know that we don't want our family in a home that doesn't lock or isn't safe. Inspect all exterior doors and locks. Make sure that everything has a uh, keyless deadbolt as well as a keyed deadbolt on there. That is Texas State Property Code. At Move In, we're gonna take care of that for you if it's not already in place, but if there's a way you can do it beforehand without rekeying, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that hardware is in place. We're gonna rekey the property for you after we get a hold of it and get it into our inventory. Make sure that you've got a peephole or a door viewer on the front as well as the garage door and any exterior door. That's part of state law. Rental properties in Texas as well on sliding doors have to have a secondary locking device. This could be a pin or a Charlie bar. Highly recommend the Charlie bar. The reason is if you try to drill that pin hole in a sliding glass window, well, I'll just say we've seen at least one shatter because it's that close to the glass. So you'll always, whether you're managing the property or us, have to rekey that property anytime you get new tenants in place. It is state law. We're gonna take care of that for you at 1836, so don't do it thinking you're gonna help us. We've got a key system that we've gotta get those properties on. That ensures that we get the most efficient and effective service and access to the house if we need one in the future. Any other advice or help we can give you, please don't hesitate to reach out for us. We're here to make you a more successful investor. 1836propertymanagement.com or 512-994-4323. Thanks for your time.